Good morning, everybody. I'm Fernando Lopez, and I'm an ITCD major with an emphasis in web design and development. My client was uh, Valley Geographical Consulting, which is a uh, independent uh, geographical consulting firm for any range of clients, be it uh, nature enthusiasts looking at a trail, um, possibly agriculture, uh, Shy is one of their clients. So basically, it was problem statement is that they didn't have a set and established name or logo to separate them from all GIS consultants in the area. Um, this was their primary logo, which was kind of a play on words. It's a GIS, um, which is a logo with the, with the earth, which isn't really effective in explaining what the services provided are. Um, the other problem is that current GIS technologies limit the information displayed to either a printed piece of paper or a two-dimensional image that's shown on screen. Um, similarly, you know, mobile phones and mobile devices should be able to have access to the information online as well. So the methodology at first was to become familiar with the GIS technologies themselves and understand what the users would use them for, um, what uh, Greg Gonzalez, my client, would like to provide to his clients. Um, and also to determine the final business name because, again, it was GIS, so we were able to brainstorm and come up with the final name, which was Valley Geographic Consulting. Um, later, once the logo and name were established, we created a corresponding website to match the logo. So that was the previous logo, as we saw before, and this was the new logo um, with the VGC standing for v uh, Valley Geographic Consulting and a more appropriate pinpoint of a map. Um, when you look at a map other than an X, you know, a pin is probably the most um, idea, ideal way to portray a location. So the next thing, we made a dynamic website that can be viewed at valleygeoconsulting.com. Uh, if you'd like to see it, you can also come to my poster session. Um, this is just kind of a progression of how um, the design went. This is my initial mock-up. Um, pretty basic. It was going to have, you know, a map um, with the you know, intro. The next version, uh, I included, I wanted to give a more location-based uh, business name, so I included a background image of the Salinas Valley, um, kind of to portray location. And the final version um, is, uh, looks like a background image in the back if you look on the side of the content, um, but once you go there, um, if you can look in the poster session, it is a live background map that reloads with every page. Um, it's all, it's centered around Monterey, so it never goes within more than a, probably about 500 mile radius of the center location. Um, that script was provided by CSUMB's IT mastermind, Kevin Miller, so let's thank him. Uh, so the tools I used were Drupal. Um, it's a content management system which addresses uh, one of the main problems with small <coughs> business owners and their websites is that they pay a lot of money for their websites, but they don't really have the know-how on how to update them. They might not be familiar with code, so it becomes outdated and it becomes a hassle uh, in the long run. So what Drupal does is it turns every piece of content, um, paragraph, photo, into <coughs> excuse me, a manipulatable you know, dynamic thing that you can just drag and drop onto the website. So it makes it really easy to update. Uh, I use JavaScript and jQuery for the, back Mac, for the, excuse me, the map background. Um, as well as HTML5 and CSS3 principles. So what I learned is uh, <laughs> definitely time management. Um, many all-nighters, uh, sometimes all day, uh, sometimes all night. Um, close contact with your client is key. I would meet with my client you know, relatively often just to verify that it was going in the direction that he wanted. Um, also how to create uh, and customize themes in Drupal because I had never worked with Drupal before so it was kind of jump in and sink or swim. Um, but I swam. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, special thanks to my family, my mom, um, my cadre, uh, my advisor, Kevin Cahill. And uh, I hope to see you all at my poster session in room 110.